news to you, Bo Jackson. Look, more speed, more muscle, more action. Yeah, yeah. Two sports, one legend, go ask them. Yeah, yeah. More players that's like them won't happen. Nah. The truth, a salute to Bo Jackson. Look, number one draft pick in 86, so cold. Play baseball the next eight years solo. Four seasons with the Raiders, wish he had four more. If he did, what would have happened? Only Bo knows. Like a tuxedo, the man moved just like a human torpedo. First all star in two sports, he showed him. Unstoppable if you take more bold. Him. Remember that 91 yard touchdown? He left out the end zone and he kept on going. Yeah, like Seattle, whole left. But was never one to cut you no slack. A hip injury hit him like four flats. But the NFL always had a legend, Bo Jack. Yeah. An absolute legend, Bo Jackson. Of course, he wore the silver and black, but he played in Los Angeles. I want to keep it to Oakland because tonight might be the Oakland Raiders' last primetime home game that they ever play. There's been so many memories there, and it's this Raiders' legacy. You hear the music, you hear that? Wow. And, and I'm getting a little emotional because barring a postseason run of some kind where they get that home game in the playoffs, this might be it for us seeing Oakland under the lights. So let's go through the top five greatest Oakland Raider icons of all time. It's my list. If you're a Raiders fan, I know you've got your list. Strictly Oakland, no LA. Let's start off with Gene Upshaw. Number five, Gene Upshaw played 20 years in the NFL. One of the greatest offensive linemen to ever play the game. He was an all pro three times. He also played in multiple Super Bowls. He also defined being an Oakland Raider. We go on to be the NFLPA president, of course, but Gene Upshaw, the consistency of wearing that silver and black through generations, that is number five. Number four, Oh, I'm going with number four. I'm going with double zero. I'm going with Jim Otto. Jim Otto played his entire career with the Oakland Raiders. He played the entire time. He was an AFL legend. He also wore double zero as an offensive lineman. He had the face. He had the outfit. He had the toughness. Jim Otto was an Oakland Raider, obviously a pro football legend, but also an Oakland Raider legend, which leads to number three. A guy who's no longer with us, but a guy who will always be remembered, the snake, Kenny Stabler. Look, everyone loved Joe Namath and what he brought. If you're an Oakland Raiders fan, Kenny Stabler was the guy who had the attitude. Left-handed quarterback out of Alabama, obviously on all of those big games they had, and Kenny Stabler lived the life, both on the field and off. He represented everything that they were. You see this, this is the hair coming down, the blood coming down. The snake was the dude. If you ever want to read up about a true NFL character, it's Kenny Stabler. He was my number three, and he's the last player I'm going to mention, because number two is a head coach. That's John Madden. You know the video game, but do you know the coach, John Madden? Was hired at the age of 34, took the Raiders to the Super Bowl, got them their first Super Bowl victory, being carried off here. John Madden personified Raiders football. Al Davis took a risk on him as a young coach, and he delivered. He delivered after years and years of falling short to the Steelers. They finally overcame the Steelers, and they win their Super Bowl. John Madden is an Oakland Raider, which leads to number one, the godfather of them all, the man, the myth, the legend, that guy, Al Davis. Just win, baby. Everything you know in football, commitment to excellence, the silver and black, just win, baby. This guy, Al Davis, he was from New York. He went out to Oakland. He was a player. He was a coach. And then he was the owner. And boy, did he have style. Al Davis, one of the true icons of the game. The NFL voted him number two in the greatest character list of the sports history. Ah, he's number one in my heart. Tonight we'll be watching. It's under the lights. I want to hear. They're all Hall of Famers. What do you guys say at home? Who is your favorite Oakland Raider of all time? An iconic franchise. Tonight will be another iconic game. Under the lights in Oakland, maybe the last time ever. From here, we go to our break room where Nate Burleson is thinking about some things in the office. Nate, we're going from Raiders legends to yeah. you sitting in an empty room. What do you got, 